up everybody and welcome back to a beer a day with TK. I just wanted to follow up on the video I did yesterday. I had a couple comments um, asking about the Mickeys. I know it's kind of a classic beer for a lot of us. Um, it reminds us of a lot of good times. One thing I did fail to mention was on the inside of the caps, they tend to have these puzzles. So you see a couple of pictures, pictograms or whatever they are, and you have to try to figure out the meaning. Um, I haven't looked at them in ages. Maybe about 10 years ago, I had one that stumped me. And the cap was go pound sand. Never heard that phrase in my life, but apparently that's what the, the pictures were representing. And it frustrated me so much that I've never looked at the cap again since. Um, so yesterday, I probably should have mentioned that they're in there. If you're into puzzles like that, it's kind of fun and interesting. If you're easily frustrated like me, I've blacked it out of my memory and didn't even, didn't even look inside the caps. So just a, a little note on the Mickeys. So today, the beer that I have is Camerzian Rat. Regally Privat. This is a German beer. There's a lot of information on the bottle and on the, the packaging. So it says this is from Germany's most awarded brewery, is Regally's most awarded beer, Privat. Winner of the Beer of the Decade, Beer of the Year, World Beer Cup, nine time DLG Gold, and six time European Gold Star. Privat is the benchmark for crass lagers, crisp, rich, and complex in character. Privat is perfectly balanced with a clean and remarkably smooth finish. So it looks like this wins quite a few awards. When I looked at Untapped, they got a 3.37. Beer Advocate gave it a 3.9. Um, so there's some pretty solid ratings for this beer. What I also thought was kind of cool, if you look on the side of the packaging, it tells you the style, Bavarian Hellas beer, gives you the alcohol and the gravity. Um, has a sliding scale for color, so we know this is kind of a lighter beer. Um, taste, it shows you a hop scale. It's got 19 IBUs. They have that listed as one hop, so not very hoppy. Aroma, floral with notes of grassy hops. Body is soft and sophisticated with a smooth finish. And barrel aging, 60 days at zero degrees. Uh, the malt and the hops, Pilsner, Steffi, Opal, Mittelfru. And then they tell us, enjoy a beautiful life. So not a bad idea. Let's check this beer out. Ooh! Sounded like a shotgun. Using the Black Cloister glass today. Again, Black Cloister was a brewery in Toledo, Ohio. Unfortunately, they've gone out of business, but I still have the glass, so I guess they're alive somewhere. You look at the color, it's really a light gold, nice white head to it. Uh, very effervescent, a lot of bubbles. See a lot of carbonation going on there. Well, not much going on. A little bit sweet, kind of a biscuity sweet thing going on. Light sweetness, light hops, a bit of dryness to it. Um, it's a nice beer. Looks like this has been around since 1386, and it said it was the beer of the decade. I guess the question is, which decade? There's been a lot of decades from 1386 to present. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty solid beer. This would be something I could drink pretty regularly. Not offensive, like I said, light, light hops, light sweetness, a um, little bit dry, pretty solid beer. Um, I, you know, one thing I, I think when you talk about beers, there seems to be a push to make things hoppier than they ever were before, or more sour than they were before, or try to get these really cutting edge beers. And sometimes we kind of lose sight of the simple beers that are really good. So Pilsner's, the uh, Hellas Lager, stuff like this. Um, they're not the most exotic, they're not the most you know, kind of out there on the cutting edge of technology and, and beer science, brewing science, but they're simply good beers. And I would say that uh, Kamenzian Rot, Privat, is simply a good beer and it gets a thumbs up. So I'd definitely drink another one. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please hit subscribe. Thanks, and until next time, prost.